Hello, my name is Zhou Ya, a wedding and a fashion photographer based in New Zealand. Today, I want to give myself a challenge and answer one question I got asked the most. What camera and lenses am I using? In other words, should I get fancy cameras to take great photos? However, in my opinion, the lighting is far more important than cameras and lenses. I use multiple camera systems for work, Nikon, Hasselblad, and Face One. The challenge for today is to do an on-location shoot with my Face One XF, Nikon D850, and my trusty iPhone X. That's right, we are going to shoot from a top-line medium format camera, a full-frame DSLR, and a cell phone camera. Then we're going to compare the result. For lighting, we will be using four Godox V1 flashes with AKR1 accessory kit. Let me show you the finished image first. All three photos are taken by different cameras under very similar lighting conditions with four V1 flashlights. Can you identify which image is taken by which camera? And which one do you like the most? How do you answer? And we are coming right back to it as I'm going to show you how we took those photos. What I love about the Godox V1 is how small and powerful it is. The AKR1 accessory kit gives me additional flexibility with minimum time penalty. It's also super easy to apply gels light modify on the flash. Thanks to its magnetic system, we are no longer required to bring massive flashes to the scene that slow us down, increase the cost and generally decrease the fun of photography. Let's spend a little bit more time to talk about lighting setups and explain the functionality of each modifier. We started from take a photo with only natural light on my iPhone X. It looks super flat and uninspiring. Now let's turn the light on. Can you see the dramatic difference between the two? Our goal is to create a mood, dimension, and a separation. We also created a contrast by introducing complementary colors by applying warm gels on our flashes in this cold colored scene. However, we have to bear in mind a sense of realism should be presented in our image as well. It will influence us where we will put our lights. You may think it would be hard to control four of camera flashes in one go, but it's very easy. With my DSLR, I control those Godax V1s with Expo trigger. I first organize them into different groups, so I can control them individually. Thanks to the large LCD and awesome layout of the trigger, I can see my settings and change them quickly. For my iPhone X, I can simply connect it to Godax A1 then Godax Photo app and use it as a trigger to control my other V1s. The app is very easy to use and have all the major functions on the main page. A1 smartphone flash is also a little flash unit that supports LED, TTL, master and slave function. It is designed especially for both iOS and Android cell phones. We placed one light with band door to light up the train. The band door is there to control spread of the light. We don't want it to spell on the floor and the train tracks, as they are not the important part of our image. One light for the model and another light for the interior of the train. A diffusion panel has been applied on both flashes to eliminate hot spot, orange and yellow gels on the flashes to simulate the light in the train. The interior of the train station is led by a flash and a yellow gel with a diffusion dome attached. The dome is to create an even lighting for the whole area. We want the whole place to be lit, not just a wall or able to see an obvious hot spot. The warm color gels has been applied from AKR1 accessory kit, which was designed for AD200 round heads and V1. Because everything is magnetic, apply them is very easy. Here are the photos straight out of the cameras. You can see them are quite close to what we want already. Now we can go further and apply some editing on them. Did you guess right which camera took which photo?
I have the goals to show you don't need the state of the art camera and the lenses to produce a desirable image. All you need is any camera and the ability to control light, or maybe a few Godox V1. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram to see more photos we have created on breathtaking locations throughout New Zealand.